hello friends uh, welcome to another video from our channel in today's video I'm going to explain how to create section view uh, in a Revit project so let's uh, create a new project create a new project and go to the I'm using metric construction template you can use as space you are as per your requirement if you're working on architecture plan or construction plan so let's let's first uh, go to the uh, elevation view and the elevation view we, uh, we have already two uh, two levels so I'm not going to change this I'm going to the level one and uh, just I want to select this wall and then I will create a small building small halves like this so let's uh, specify about wall specification it is in unconnected no i'm going to change this to the level two and then apply and then let's uh, put some windows to this building small house and creating some windows here just uh, like this so, and then doors, okay, and again, I need to create a roof for this project, and place this in the level 2, go and select this, like this, like this, okay, okay, attach, attach our roof, go to the tilde view, you can see that our wall where these two walls are not connected with the roof wall so I'm going to change this to create this it is unconnected wall I can change the like this So this is a small house that I have created and now I'm going to apply section view for this for this uh, project for placing uh, first I'm going to explain what is section view in the Revit we have multiple views in the Revit project we have floor view we have uh, views like floor views we have ceiling views we have like elevation view suppose from south fourth side like first elevation views we have east north south west and also we have section view we have we have 3d view in the revit model we have here also we have camera view that we are going to place the camera like this you can see from inside of the this camera is placed inside of the of the room like this you can you can see the camera views and you can also you can change the like this is you can change the view and rotate it in your desired desired form so uh, for creating a section view we are going to the level not ceiling level we are going to the floor level and go to the view tab so a section is what is section section uh cuts through the through a model that is that the interior model components along with the section so suppose i can i can cut these components along these elements of the unit so uh when we select the section it comes to the project browser uh, we simply use the section tool for uh the section tool for uh, creating a section view of the uh, project element suppose this wall or the whole building uh, generally we have two types of section uh, one is the building section and the other one is the wall section building section uh, first we are going to do and we apply the section from this side for suppose I'm going to apply this section like this 
so I, I i cut the whole building and this as you can see that the view range is to the right side of the project we we can uh, extend the view range to the whole building uh, but you you can change the view range to the to the this left side as well by clicking on this flip section you have flip you can flip the view to the both side so i created this section and i'm going to place another section that uh, is wall section and some walls suppose here so the as you can see that the view ranges came to this side but we can change to both side now now how we can view this section there is multiple ways to view the section view first the easiest one is that i'm just uh, clicking on this double click by clicking on the double click on this way and the, the crosser you can see on the bubble you can see that our section is uh, it's came the view is like it's appeared so you can see that this is our wall and this is our floor roof and it's this is our window and it, because this is a simple wall so for like a wall which is having a multi-layer section section view will help us to understand and measure the multi multiple views of the of the project so uh, and the other in the other way we are going to to the level one and just click here double click and you can see that this is our uh, building section the this one was our wall section and this one is our building section from this uh, visual style also you can change the uh, view type the graphic type like height and lines or shaded or whatever it is so the another way that we we can view our section is you can close this to view uh, is that go to the project browser here and scroll down here section we have section we have building section and we have wall section is created so just click simply on this and you it will come through the section and again for the wall section click on the wall section part and then you can view this section views you can change the uh, view range according to your project's needs and according to your requirement so this is the section view of the project uh, the another point is that one of one of uh, um, one of one of uh, one of the viewers of uh, my video has asked about the 3d section that how we can view the section view in the 3d model as you can see that the section we are, which i have created in this project are not visible in the pre and the 3d model so for the uh, creating the section view in the 3d model it is it's uh, quite easy only just go to the um, first close the all other views and go to the 3d view but for the 3d view also you can go from this view tab 3d here you have 3d view or here also we have a shortcut here uh, so go to the 3d view and scroll down the project properties come to the uh, section box active activate it just active this this tick active this tick and you can see that our section box is created so just simply by selecting the section box and moving this browser like this like this see you can see that our section 3d section model is created so by this way you can create your section view of the project like this just move to wherever you need the section okay uh, thank you all for watching uh, today's video and i would like to thank you for your support and if you have any question or suggestion of coming you can put in the comment box so thank you all and
this videos for today's program.